Hello, and thank you for tuning in to New Paltz News, your place to find out everything that is going on right here in New Paltz and hear from your peers. I'm your anchor, Jenna Ely, and here are this week's top stories. This week was a film screening of the local documentary, Dear Governor Cuomo, at the SUNY New Paltz campus. Director John Bowermaster was at the event and led a post-discussion after the film. Dear Governor Cuomo covers the topic of hydraulic fracturing in New York and is known as a concert protest film. The documentary follows the anti-fracking rally that occurred at Albany in May. The Hulk himself is in the film. Local resident and actor Mark Ruffalo shows the contamination of water in a Pennsylvania town in the promotional photo of the event. The film first premiered at the 2012 Woodstock Film Festival and has been screened all over the Hudson Valley. The one-time New Paltz screening was at the SUNY New Paltz Lecture Center on Wednesday, December 5th and was open to the public. This Friday night at 6 p.m. in the sub-NPR is the Sankofa Culture Fair, brought to you by New Paltz's branch of the Sankofa African Organization. It is a celebration of African dance, music, food, and culture. According to their website, quote, Sankofa is an organization of collective work to promote and commit community service, volunteer work, programs, and projects geared toward helping Africans in Africa and Africans abroad. Through our own programs and projects, along with collaborations with established and trusted organizations and associations, we work to bring development, improvement, and betterment to Africa." End quote. There is a lot to be learned and experienced at this culture fair, and you should definitely go and check it out. On Tuesday, December 4th, in the sub-NPR was the Oxfam America Hunger Banquet. This event was sponsored by Student Alliance for Social Services and Oxfam America at SUNY New Paltz. It had a great turnout for this truly sociological experience. Our reporter, Samantha Murillo, went into the field to capture this event. Let's go see. According to their website, quote, few experiences bring to life these inequalities more powerfully than an Oxfam America Hunger Banquet. Unique and memorable, the Oxfam America Hunger Banquet can help raise funds and awareness as organizers and participants alike experience firsthand how our decisions affect others in the world." End quote. And that is all of your local news for this week. We'll be back with Alexandra with entertainment news after this commercial break. Over 13 million people are affected by famine, war, and drought in the Horn of Africa. Make a simple text donation of $10. But do more than donate. Forward the facts. At shelters, you'll discover healthy and loving animals just waiting to become a part of your family. Why wait? You can make a difference in the life of an animal. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person and adopt your new best friend today. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. Hello and welcome to this week's segment of Entertainment News. I'm your anchor, Alexandra Sofin. This past Thursday night, December 6th, was the Acapella Winter Concert in the Student Union Building sponsored by Absolute Acapella. Absolute is the co-ed acapella group on the SUNY New Paltz campus and according to their website, our goal is to spread the word to all of New Paltz and New York that acapella is not just a bunch of music geeks who can make weird noises, but that acapella is a bond between friends who love each other and have a common interest. And exploring that interest of acapella is not a bad thing at all. The other a cappella groups on campus is the male-based group, Male Call, and the female-based group, The Sexy Pitches. Always be on the lookout for their performances because they all always put on a great show. This Sunday, December 9th, is the College Youth Symphony's Winter Concert in Studley Theater at 7 p.m. The College Youth Symphony is consisted of students on campus and the orchestra performs primarily classical work throughout the Mid-Hudson region with selected students and guest artists as soloists. The concert admission is $3, but be sure to go check it out and support your peers. Next Thursday, December 13th, is Epic Lee's final event of the semester. It is their winter performance at 7 p.m. in McKenna Theater. Epic Lee was founded in fall 2009 and is a completely student-run club based of, out of SUNY New Paltz with roughly 25 to 32 members, all with a passion for singing and dancing. Be sure to check them out. It is always an awesome time. That's all the entertainment news we have for you this week. Let's go hear from Eric with the sports after this commercial break. Je 
You didn't give up on sex, don't give up on birth control either. There are more methods than you think. Find yours at bedsider.org. Hello, New Paltz. I'm your sports anchor, Eric Channon. In sports news, our winter sports teams are having a great season. In women's sports, swimming came in third place out of 13 teams in the winter championships, and women's basketball beat Stevens Institute of Technology 76 to 69. And in men's sports, swimming came in seventh place out of 11 teams at the winter championships. Basketball lost two heartbreakers to Buffalo State 93 to 97 and Eastern Connecticut State 74 to 78. Here are some of the upcoming events. Be sure to check them out. Tonight, December 7th, women's basketball is playing the College at Brockport at 6 p.m. and men's basketball is playing the College at Brockport at 8 p.m. Saturday the 8th, women and men's basketball are playing SUNY Geneseo at 2 and 4 p.m. and on the 11th, women's basketball is playing Hamilton College at 6 p.m. Great job, athletes. Keep up the good work and good luck, and we'll report next week with some more sports scores and upcoming events. Let's go back to Jen in the studio after this commercial break. At Shelters, you'll discover healthy and loving animals just waiting to become a part of your family. Why wait? You can make a difference in the life of an animal. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person and adopt your new best friend today. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. Up to 40% of businesses never recover after experiencing a major disaster. Make a plan at ready.gov business. In national news, a new billboard on a major road near a homeless encampment, encampment in Camden makes a request of people passing through the embattled city. It says, quote, say something nice about Camden, end quote. The billboard is the brainstorm of Manhattan Communications Executive Jennifer Barton, who once worked in the city. She's put up a website, SaySomethingNiceAboutCamden.org, and a Facebook page of the same name to try to encourage the compliments. Barton tells the Philadelphia Inquirer she wants to raise the visibility of good things in the city, which has a vibrant community garden scene. In the city of 77,000, near Philadelphia, has had a rough time. It's among the nation's most impoverished and violent. So far this year, there have been 63 homicides. That's the most ever in this city. But let's hope things start turning up. Google is announcing $23 million in grants to spur innovation among charities and increase education for girls and minority students in science and technology. Seven nonprofits will win the first Google Global Impact Awards on Tuesday. Charity, Water receives $5 million to use water monitoring technology at 4,000 wells across Africa. DonorChoose.org receives $5 million to create 500 new advanced placement science and math classes with the College Board for underrepresented students. The World Wildlife Fund receives $5 million to adapt sensors and animal tagging technology to detect and deter poaching. The Smithsonian's Barcode of Life project gets $3 million to use DNA barcoding to protect endangered species. Additional grantees include Give Directly, Equal Opportunity Schools, and the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media. Google's, Google says innovation is underfunded among nonprofits. Thanks for joining us. Good luck on your finals, everyone, and enjoy your winter break. That was the last episode of this semester. So until next semester, have a great night, New Paltz. <laughs>